If you're watching this video because of its title, let me be very clear from the beginning. This is not just a Philippines problem. This is a world problem. The Philippines is not unique in this issue. As you can see from my other videos, I have truly fallen in love with this incredible country. And this little island of Shargao turned out to be one of my favorite places of the entire trip. And before I get into the problem and purpose of this video, let me show you why Shargao is so special. First, you have the great surf culture around Cloud9 in the General Luna area. It's the most popular surfing spot of the entire country. And when you leave General Luna, it's straight into an endless supply of palm trees. You can grab a scooter and spend hours exploring the beautiful countryside. Along the way, you can stop at the natural rock pools of Mount Poponco and do some cliff diving during low tide. Further north, you can spend a secluded day anywhere on the massive stretch of sand of Alegria Beach. And if you keep going, you'll reach Tok Tok Waterfalls. About a 25 minute drive up from Pacifico Beach to a waterfall called Tak Tak Waterfall in the north of Shargao. Making a quick little hike up here, gonna go check it out. Hello, hello, that way? That, okay, hello. G. Ella. Ella, nice to meet you. Hello. There it is. Beautiful little stop. Very Tuk Tuk Falls. Got a little crew of locals jumping in over there. Beautiful, there's nobody here. It's about like two o'clock. All surrounded by palm trees. Ah, it's incredible. And if you're looking for a day trip, you can roll up to the port of Del Carmen and hire a boat to take you to the amazing Sugba Lagoon. And now that you have a glimpse of why I think this place is so incredible, let me explain the problem. The Philippines are inevitably getting more popular and my videos don't help. The world is getting more populated and plastic really sucks. Everywhere I've gone in this country, I've seen some level of littering and pollution and my time in Shargao was no different. But presenting a problem without a solution or at least an effort to change isn't my style of video. So to gain an understanding and first-hand perspective of the problem, I came up to Pacifico Beach to spend the day with the Sun Crew. All right, today's adventure. Took a, a little scooter up here, about an hour drive from General Luna, and I am at Pacifico Beach helping out the Sun Crew today. It's a group of students and group of kids that clean up the beach in the morning on Saturdays and there's one thing about the Philippines that maybe I haven't shared enough is that while the beaches and, and terrain is absolutely incredible, the islands are so beautiful, there is a big problem with garbage. And so this crew cleans up a lot of the plastic on the beach up here in Pacifico, one of the main beaches here on the island of Chargao. And it's an incredible, an incredible organization. And I just wanted to come up and experience it for the day to see what they do, to get a little bit of their energy and to try to inspire you guys to show you a different way of life, a different way of getting involved when you're traveling. So let's go clean up the beach here in Pacifico, Saturday morning, Chargao. Let's go. 
I meet Weimar, one of the founders of the organization, and then all the kids who make up the crew. So the idea is this, most kids in the area want to surf, and only surf. So Weimar, a local surf legend himself, and some supporters decided to incentivize their community by providing surfboards and lessons on a point system. If you go to school, you get points. If you clean up the beach, you get points. And you can cash in these points to surf. <laughs> this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It's just a chaotic and crazy group of kids cleaning up on the beach. We just got to the beach. It's just chaos. But it's a beautiful chaos because we're cleaning up. It's just amazing. All right, now we just got to the beach. It's time to clean up. All your life you've tried to be a good man inside. Did everything that you thought you should. There's just so much garbage on this beach. It just says it comes in from everywhere. Throw it in there. There's just so much here, so much garbage. Just littered with plastic. You've seen this on a lot of beaches in the Philippines. But this is this is pretty bad. I mean, it's such a beautiful location. Palm trees everywhere. Beautiful beach. Kids that love to surf. And they're just cleaning up the beach before they go out and surf. But this is just uh, it's disheartening and also uplifting at the same time with all this garbage. With kids trying to pick it up. I wish more of the islands would do this. More initiatives like this would happen because this is this is awesome. Don't give up. Let me do this, ready? All right, that is a wrap on the, the beach cleaning for this Saturday, it's next Saturday. Same time, same place. Same time, same place. Same time, same place. He's in charge of bringing more bags. We need to bring some rakes. We got a lot cleaned up, but there's still a lot more to clean up. There's a lot more to clean up here, right? <laughs> Not a long time. Try that again. There's a lot more to clean up here, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was, I think that was a great effort. It was just like a. There you go. A little shout out to May. There's a lot of garbage on this beach, but this hurricane of kids is going to clean it up. We have faith, and hopefully this spreads throughout the Philippines and throughout the world. This is an incredible initiative, a really, really cool uh, organization that's going on here in Chargao. And hopefully it, 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 it's contagious everywhere. <laughs> it's just chaos. Back at the shop now. And these are the bags of plastic of garbage that they collected just this morning alone. Unbelievable. Once the bags are collected from the morning cleanup, the kids are all given a snack. <laughs> Surfboards are given out based on merit. And then, the ultimate reward for a job well done, it's finally time to go surfing. And once the beach cleanup is done, get a little snack. It's time to go surfing.
I've been very fortunate in my life to experience some of the most incredible places on this planet, and none have been more impressive than the Philippines. The point of this video is to show you just how amazing this world is, and hopefully inspire you to make an effort to protect it, just like the Sun Crew. What's the name of this? Bulaman? Bulaman? Oh! Did you drink it? Tastes like milky jello. You like it? Yeah. Alright. A little milky, a little jello y. You want it? You like it? Not for me. 